Well, Casey Dickey's always out and about having a yarn with people. Here's what she found. Hi, I'm Casey, reporting for The Union Show. Monday the 10th of March saw Victorians enjoy a Labor Day public holiday. Labor Day is celebrated internationally and here in Melbourne we can be particularly proud that it all started here when in 1856 the stonemasons stopped work and marched from Melbourne Uni to Parliament in order to achieve the eight hour day. If you enjoyed the public holiday off or you received penalty rates for working the day then you can thank the union movement for those benefits. If you worked the public holiday and weren't paid penalty rates then you probably need to get some union activity in your workplace. You should contact your union and get organised. Just prior to Labor Day on Saturday the 8th of March, International Women's Day was celebrated across the world. The ACTU launched a report from the International Trade Union Confederation on the eve of International Women's Day that showed that on average women earn 16% less than men. The report was a global study of only 63 nations. The true picture of pay inequity between men and women would show an even greater difference as the study didn't cover many developing nations. In other news, submissions to the Fair Pay Commission for this year's minimum wage case closed on Friday the 14th of March. Business groups have said that they think the pay rise should be a measly $10 or $11 per week and the ACTU is pushing for a $26 a week pay rise. At this stage, the government isn't specifying how much they think the minimum wage should be. In a time where the cost of living, the cost of petrol and the cost of housing is increasing, it comes as a shock but not a surprise to me that at the top end of town, big business bosses are earning a ridiculous amount of money. Corporate executives and directors have seen their pay rise by a staggering 30% in the last year. Can you imagine receiving a 30% pay increase? It's about time that some of the money that goes into those silver lined pockets went into the hands of the frontline staff, the workers who make it possible for business to make its money. That's all for me. Thanks for watching The Union Show.